Hello, yoga community. Welcome to the mat. Hi, I'm Allie. Welcome to my channel. This is a vinyasa flow, full body stretch practice. It's going to leave you feeling revitalized, ready to step off your mat with confidence. Now, hey, if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know every time a new yoga class goes live. If you're a returning yogi, thank you for continuing to practice with me. And also please make sure you're subscribed too. It really helps. Finally, there are a plethora of resources down in the description below to support your yoga practice from the comfort of your home. One final note, a yoga prop announcement. I am recommending a blanket like the one I am sitting atop of. If you have one, please have it folded and ready and nearby. We'll be using it in pigeon pose. If you don't have a blanket, no worries. It's optional, not required. All right, unroll your mat. Come meet me for this full body vinyasa flow. start seated. Knees bent, feet planted. We're coming into windshield wipers. Sometimes they're called L-sits or a 90 degree angle. Essentially, you'll let your feet spill over to one side and you want to imagine that you're creating a 90 degree angle with your legs here and simply move from side to side. Your feet will need to be pretty wide. Start to invite your breath to become part of the experience here. Shifting from side to side, nothing fancy. Pause on the next side, sit up tall and begin to twist around yourself. Unwind, unravel, legs come to the other side, twist around yourself here. Unwind, unravel, and swing the legs behind you, coming into a tabletop pose, and thread the needle with a little bit of a twist. Inhale the right arm up high to the sky, really extend to the fingertips. Exhale, thread the hand through, but come to a hover here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. This time you'll thread it through, come all the way down and stay down. Right shoulder, right ear coming to the mat. This left hand can rest in front of the face. You can wrap it around the body for a bind or extend it long to the top of the mat, which is my personal favorite. Take a few breaths here. We'll be doing quite a bit of twisting today throughout our practice in various shapes and forms and postures and transitions. Slide the left hand back towards the face, push into the earth plane, unravel the body, reach the right fingertips high for a moment, plant the right hand down, other side please, inhale the left arm high, exhale, twist, thread it through and hover and lift up, thread it through, hover and lift up. Thread it through, hover, and then relax down. Back of left hand, left shoulder, left ear. Choose where you want your right hand to be. Slide your right hand back towards the face, push into the earth plane, reach the left fingertips high to the sky, and come back to a tabletop position. Coming into sunbird, extend the right leg straight back in space, 
firm this right leg, check in with your pelvis. Is it neutral here? Check in with your abdominals. Are you engaging and hugging in towards the midline? Gaze a little bit forward. If you want to add on here, reach the left fingertips long, breathe for three, And now listen carefully, set the left hand down, curl the left toes under, and come back into three-legged down dog. Bring navel back to spine for this transition. Find a three-legged down dog. Reach through your right foot. That right leg is really active. This left knee, it can be slightly bent, absolutely. Push the earth plane away. Another inhale. Exhale, bring right knee to nose, plant the right foot between the hands, soften the left knee down, find a low lunge here. You can keep the fingertips down. Whole breath. Push down through the front heel to lengthen through the spine. Mm. And plant the hands again, come back to a three-legged downward facing dog. Send the right leg back and high. Listen carefully. Come forward to about plank pose halfway. Bring the right knee into the midline. Then shoot the right leg across and come down and tap your right hip to the ground. Lengthen up through the spine. Take it back, three-legged down dog. We'll do that again. Reach the right leg back. Bring it through, slide it over to the left, tap the right hip. You're sort of in an up dog. Come back up, three-legged down dog. Inhale, exhale, sweep it through, plant the right foot. This time soften left knee, but inhale up the hands. Reach the inner elbows, the fingertips high to the sky, rolling the back pinky edge toe towards the mat here, inhale. Exhale, hands down through prayer as you come into a twist over to the right. So really push down through the front heel, lengthen the spine as you twist around yourself. This left elbow comes towards the outside of the right knee. Hands are in prayer. Send the right hip back in space here as you lengthen through the crown of the head. Curl the left toes under, pick up that left knee. Again, send the right hip back in space as you lift the left hamstring towards the sky and lengthen up and out of the spine. So lengthen the ribs away from the pelvic bowl. Gaze down for balance at your right foot Step your left foot to meet your right and lower the hips for a twisted Utkatasana here. Squeeze the legs together. Send the right hip back. It wants to creep forward. Lengthen from tail to crown. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly step the left foot back. Take your time. Nice work. Lower the left knee, unravel, reach the fingertips high to the sky. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. This is the first one with both feet on the ground. Push down through the knuckle of the pointer finger. Firm your forearms, wrap your armpits towards your heart. Let the chest go back towards the tops of the thighs as you keep wrapping the armpits towards the heart. Beautiful, soften the knees down. Extend the left leg back in space now. Other side, really firm that left leg. Check in with your pelvis. The left hip likes to hike up here and reach the right arm out in front of you.
Set the right hand down, curl the right toes under, find three-legged downward facing dog. Really reach through that left leg. Wrap the inner thigh towards the sky. And sweep the left foot through. Soften the right knee down. Keep the fingertips down. First low lunge on the side. Push down through the left heel to lengthen. And curl the right toes under, plant the hands, step back, three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, the knee comes about midway, shoot the left foot out to the right side, come into this up dog variation, tap the hip, come back up, three-legged down dog. Exhale, bring it through. Inhale to tap hip. Take it back, three-legged downward facing dog. Sweep the foot through, plant it down, find low lunge, soften the right knee. This time, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down through prayer. We twist to the right. So start to rotate the torso. Right elbow towards the outside of the left knee. See if you can find a connection here. Push palm into palm, elbow into knee, knee into elbow. Send the right pinky toe down towards the mat. Push down through your front heel, lengthen your spine. Curl the right toes under, lift that back knee up. Twisted high lunge. Send the right hamstring up, up, up. Left hip back, back, back. Crown of the head forward. And now gaze down. Bend the back knee, find a twisted Utkatasana. Let the hips drop. And again, create your twist here. Send the left hip back, it's gonna wanna creep forward. Reach from tailbone to top of head. And slowly step back into that twisted high lunge. Soften the right knee, unwind, reach the left hand high, the left hand, both hands. Plant the hands down, find downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Let's add three more. Beautiful, soften the knees down. We're coming into this pigeon pose. However, I wanna introduce the blanket here. And let's come into it on the left side first. Feel free to come back into downward facing dog if that's how you like to enter into Kapotasana, pigeon pose. Otherwise, simply bring the left knee towards your left wrist in downward facing dog, or you can imagine tabletop. Extend the right leg back, and you're bringing the blanket directly beneath your, directly underneath your left hip, okay? All right, walk the hands back. Once you come into pigeon pose, walk the hands back. So you can find a nice stretch in your right hip flexor. Roll the right pinky edge toe towards the earth plane. And now come down onto your forearms, but listen, bring the right hand across so that it clasps the left knee here and walk your left fingers out to find a twist. Keep rolling the right pinky toe towards the mat. Unwind, come to forearms, come to what's comfortable. Maybe you wanna lie all the way down. We're here for three more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
come back upright. Curl the right toes under. You can transition through down dog. You don't have to. You can fall onto your left hip. Swing the legs around. Whatever's easiest to bring the right foot forward this time for pigeon pose on this side. Nice. Look back at your left leg. Send the pinky toe down towards the earth plane and walk your fingertips back a bit to find a nice sensation on the left side here. And walk it down. This left hand comes across, it clasps the right knee. The right fingertips come onto the ground, you teepee up and begin to use that connection to rotate the chest and the spine here for a twist. Come back through to center. Come to forearms, three breaths here. Choose if this is the position you want. Come back upright. Feel free to transition through downward facing dog. We're meeting on our backs together. You can also fall onto your right hip, swing the left leg around and remove the blanket off of the mat. Meet me with bent knees, feet planted for dynamic bridge pose, palms down by your sides. Knees are hip width distance, knees are tractioning over the toes, toes are facing forward. Engage the abdominals, lengthen the back of the neck. On an inhale, push down through your big toe mound. Lift the pelvis, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Two more. Nice, bring the knees into the chest, clasp your hands around your shins, one hand on each shin. Hug the knees in. Now inhale, send the legs away, only enough until your arms go straight and really traction here. So pull your legs away, but then use your hands to pull your legs towards you and hug it in. Keep moving like that. Inhale, send the legs away. Exhale, hug them in. Three more. Nice work. Set the feet down, bring the hands out to a T, lift the hips, swing them over to the right, set them back down. Let the legs fall over to the left for a supine twist. Turn the right hand to face up towards the sky. Bring legs back through to center. Lift the hips, swing them to the left, set them down. Legs fall over to the right, turn the left palm up to the sky if it's not already. Bring the legs back up through to center. A small pause here in final resting posture. Extend the legs long, palms down by your sides. 
whatever it is you currently need in your life, clarity, awareness, positive beliefs, confidence, energy, flexibility, intimacy, trust, whatever it is you need, I want you to call that in in these final moments as you rest and integrate in Shavasana here. Call in what it is you need. And let whatever it is you need, the energy of that need to be called in through your breath and to circulate and permeate and be woven through. So you can step off the mat with that quality. Final few breaths. Begin to deepen your breath, deepen your awareness. Cement in that energetic quality that you called in. Bend the knees, turn to the side that feels most appropriate for today. Find fetal pose for a moment. Make your way up to a seat. Keep your eyes gently closed. Find an upright posture. Root down, lengthen through your spine all the way to your crown. Sweep the arms out to the side. Gather up that energetic quality that you called in, that you wove through your system with your breath and that final Shavasana posture. We'll close with an Om, and I want you to imagine as you Om that you're cementing that quality of life into your system. Inhale to prepare. Oh. When you feel ready, let in the light, open your eyes, return to the physical space. Welcome back. I hope you feel really rejuvenated from that practice, from that full body vinyasa flow stretch. Remember, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you're not new and you're not subscribed, please also subscribe. And there's plenty of resources down in the description below to support your yoga practice from the comfort of your home. Thanks again for joining me. I'll meet you back here to continue the journey.